Hi, Danica Watson, nurse practitioner, coming to you today to discuss whole milk transition. Disclaimer, this is not medical advice, recommendations, or a diagnosis. This does not take the place of a well child check or a sick visit. If you have any questions, please see your healthcare provider. So at 12 months, we try to transition our babies from formula to whole milk um, or almond milk even. Uh, if they are breastfed, sometimes we, allow, you know, it's okay to continue to breastfeed, but you also start introducing that whole milk or almond milk or goat's milk sometime to your baby. Um, one thing that we do as providers in the pediatric world, we test your child's blood at nine months, particular, particularly in our clinic, we do nine months and two years, and we check for anemia levels along with blood levels. The reason for this is, you know, they've been alive for nine months and they've either been breastfed or they've been on formula for nine months and we need to make sure that their lead levels aren't on the rise or aren't high. They also should be almost crawling about that time or at least doing lots of tummy time and rolling over. Um, lead lives in, most of the time it lives in the soil and if you walk in your home with shoes on, then you can transplant that lead in your home. Your baby crawls on it, hands go in the toys, toys go in the mouth, hands in the mouth for teething purposes and that's how you get your um, the lead in the babies. So that's what we do at nine months. And then at two years, they should be off of formula or um, not being breastfed and maybe even taking in some more whole milk or some whole milk at that time. And what we wanna make sure is that you're not drowning out their red blood cells with the whole milk. So you can absolutely give too much whole milk or too much um, almond milk uh, to your babies. They only need about 16 or so ounces a day. So if you're doing more than that, then you're absolutely, you, giving them a risk factor um, to have anemia, not necessarily lead, but um, anemia at that time. So you wanna make sure that it's 16 ounces or less, um, and then it's not a necessity that it's whole milk. If you prefer an almond milk, like an unsweetened almond milk, you can absolutely do that. If you prefer like an oat milk, you can absolutely do that. What you wanna make sure is that you're meeting their nutritional um, goals and their foods as well. So they're getting their fruits, they're getting their vegetables, they're getting their iron fortified vegetables, um, and they're getting all their minerals that way. High fatty foods, right? Because the the thought process is that if you're giving whole milk, it's got the half fat to support their brain growth. And so if you're not doing whole milk and you're doing something, not eat, maybe not even dairy at all, that you just make sure that your vegetables, you have those half fat vegetables that you're giving them. So the point is you just wanna make sure they're not consuming too much because you don't wanna wash out their red blood cells. You don't wanna cause anemia in these babies. Um, because that can lead to a slew of other problems. So a little bit of why we want to make sure we limit our milk intake and why we do our blood test at nine and two years of age. If you have any questions, y'all reach out.